Hi, my name is Morgan Shelley and I'm a Sew Models. Um, so today I have decided that I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite banana breads. Um, a lot of the things I've been doing during this time is like Pilates or launching my blog or getting ready to launch it. And I've also been in the kitchen a lot. And yeah, who doesn't love a good banana bread? And Great British Bake Off is one of my favorite TV shows. So this is one of my dreams. Anyways, okay, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is make sure your oven's on because there's nothing worse than getting halfway through baking and realizing that your oven hasn't been on the whole time. And then <laughs> you're going to uh, line a banana bread tray. This is very rustic, but obviously we aren't all perfectionists. And yeah, who cares? Anyways, um, in here, I've got one egg, four overripe bananas. You want your bananas to look like this, the um, kind that you really don't want to eat usually. And um, one egg, four overripe bananas, 80 grams of melted coconut oil, and about three tablespoons of um, any alternative milk. I've used coconut milk. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You're gonna blitz this up, which I've already basically done. Which makes it really simple. And then in here, we've got 250 grams of gluten-free all-purpose flour. It's important that it's all-purpose because it's already got your rising agent and that's kind of going to make it foolproof and easy for anyone to do. There's also cinnamon in here, two teaspoons and some salt. Um, in terms of flour, I really like to use the Dove's Farm gluten-free all-purpose flour. You can get it pretty much anywhere and yeah, it makes baking really simple. So, if I'm strong enough, you're going to put um, all the weight ingredients basically with the dry. It's not rocket science, it's really easy. I'm definitely not a baker myself. I'm actually pretty useless in the kitchen on a normal day, but um, this is really simple and really easy to make. I'm going to the wet. And yeah, you're just going to mix this up. Um, this banana bread generally keeps for quite a long time and I generally think it's a lot better the next day. You can fry it up in some coconut oil and make like a banana bread French toast kind of vibe. Um, I'm sure you could make this fully vegan by um, emitting the egg and making one of those kind of flax eggs kind of things. I've never really attempted that but yeah, do what, what you will. Um, and yeah, we're pretty much gonna mix this until everything's, I mean, I don't know if you want to come have a look. Until everything's kind of together, you're gonna try and work out as many of the lumps as you can. <clears throat> try and use one of these spatulas, they're pretty much the easiest. And yeah, I don't think you can really worry too much about over mixing as it is gluten free. Um, I just got the nod of approval from my other chef on the other end of the camera. <laughs> okay, cool. So this is pretty much incorporated. Um, yeah, it's looking good. And we are going to transfer this into our beautifully lined baking tray. Um, try and get it as even as possible. Scooping every last bit because you want a nice big loaf um yeah like i said this can keep for quite a few days but obviously considering um yeah the nature of things i will probably eat this in one day <laughs> knowing myself and cool that's all in there okay and then i like to take like a slice of a ripe banana and kind of lay it on the top. And that goes in the oven for 45 minutes and it should be all good. Enjoy and tag me on Instagram if you bake it. Thank you.